Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you guys for all your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. Okay, your new members. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support to the channel and rocking with me. Um, I truly appreciate you guys. Okay. This is for all signs. Someone rising Venus North Node. Okay. Current energy surrounding you guys. Okay. Um, before I get into that, though, I could definitely tell you guys have an energy of um, wanting a fresh start, wanting a new beginning, and um, just your overall abundance, whether it be in finances, love, career. Um, you guys are just ready for a change. Um, hopefully, on... Um, 2323 um the other day i hope you guys did realize that that was a day of completion for a lot of you guys okay because 23 plus 23 actually equals 10 and i did put that in the community um tab as well just to give you guys some motivation and inspiration on what it is that you need to do closing out old cycles so that you can begin new uh beginnings in your future okay a lot of you guys are desperately wanting a new start a new beginning so let's see what the overall energy is from the guided oracle um and messages that spirit wants to give to you guys collective yeah no conditions aren't favorable ask the universe for guidance okay so if you need help or support number four number card ask spirit for guidance on which way um you should go or you know or give you some type of you know uh, assistance, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm making a decision for some of you guys, you will be having to make an important decision. And part of that decision is letting people, places and things, things that are people that no longer serve you for your highest good. Okay. Spirit is saying to chant, hum, sing, play music, manifest through frequency. Okay. So this is a moment of manifestation that you guys pour into yourselves. Okay. Hum, sing, you know what I'm saying? And these are like happy tunes or whatever that's going to help you manifest that abundance, that love, that new career, that new house, car, whatever it is that you guys are wishing for or needing um, to change in your life, manifest it in. 64, there's your 10 right there. I told y'all, 10s, listen, period. <laughs> you are a teacher, motivator, and, scho and scholar. You were put here to spread knowledge, okay? So that's for people like myself. I received that message, okay? Because I do teach um, you guys um, um, life uh, abundance and um, not just life abundance. Oh, I, I take that back. Life lessons on how to be abundant. Thank you, Spirit. Right? Life lessons on how to be abundant as well as I am teaching tarot now. So um, go ahead and sign up for that class. The information is in the description box below. Um, but yeah, you guys could be a teacher, a healer, um, some type of um, guru, if you will, um, that, you know, you teach people. Uh, you could be a life, uh, a life coach, okay? Um, some type of teacher, a motivator, okay? Um, and that's not by chance, right? That's been put onto you by spirit, by source, um, as part of your, uh, your journey in this, in this life. Okay. And you guys are actually living in that. So that's beautiful energy. Thank you, spirit. 12. Yeah. Two plus one equals three. There you go. Deception is near. Remove the blindfold, trickery, unfair treatment, and injustice. Yeah. So for some of you guys, um, you're going to learn some news about someone who's been deceiving you, wearing the false mask around you, sending you negative, hated, um, hateful energy um, to get you off your track or get you off this life path, okay? There's people in your energy who are not very favorable at the fact that you guys are, uh, or don't favor the fact that um, you guys are uh, motivational speakers, healers, and um, that sort of thing. Um, in fact, they, they, they quite frown upon it and they, um, uh, wish, um, you negative, a lot of negative energy and, um, send you, um, a lot of, um, ill will and intent. Okay. Ooh, excuse me, guys. I had to harm you. And this is what spirit is wanting you to be aware of. I think some of you guys are already aware of this energy that's surrounding you guys. But let's see. We're going to go into the tarot and, um. 
let's you know see what's going out uh see what's coming out for you guys okay collective all right i i, I don't know why i'm holding these spirit is saying start with the intuitive deck so i want to move this to the side i'm going to start with the intuitive deck and see what comes out okay so let's just see here give me messages for my collective sun rising venus north node for all signs divine spirit holy spirit um please protect this reading send any negative energy that is sent to destroy or um send harm to me or my collective back to sender and fold thank you uh and bind it to them thank you yeah intentionally uh, yeah someone is intentionally hiding secrets from you guys okay there's a deception yep and um it was a major loss okay so some of you guys um, could have lost something that you guys are wanting to regain to gain back or either it was you or someone that's in your energy. OK, um, that was definitely hiding secrets from you. Um, but this is biting them in the ass right now because what they found themselves is in an energy of major loss. Yeah, they hate how beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So they hate how beautiful and sought out after you are. OK mm-hmm yeah right so this is falling on you're a teacher motivator scholar and you were here to spread knowledge so somebody doesn't like how beautiful you are in doing this right being a beautiful motivator a beautiful teacher you know what i'm saying spreading beautiful knowledge to um the world okay being world renowned for some of you guys somebody is really just don't like that okay give me chant hum sing play music manifest your frequency Okay, spirit. Yeah, uh, there you go. Praying for your sweet, loving energy, okay? So somebody could be manifesting you, okay, right now, chanting, hummy, singing, uh, singing, playing music to manifest this frequency through uh, as a pray uh, and manifest your loving, sweet, loving energy in, okay? So that's all good. Well, it's not all good in the sense of the negativity, but that's good, right? That someone is um wanting uh, to come, wanting to come into your energy and um, pray for your loving energy and just wanting to be in your presence. But for some of you guys, someone is um, intentionally hiding secrets as well, um, being deceptive. You have a hater here that's mad at your glow up, okay? They really hate how beautiful and sought out and after you are, um, you know, really being a hater um, in the sense of the big sense of the word, a major hater. Yeah, the moon is here, three of cups. There it is. So third party energy, the moon, okay, hidden secrets. I'm going to pull these up, move them to the side, refer to them later during this reading as we may need them to refer to. All right, we'll just put these on up right like that and move them over here. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, so three of cups to the moon, okay, yeah. So there is definitely a third party here um sending you some creating an illusions around um around you. Hidden secrets, illusions to a connection or to your overall abundance is the energy that I strongly do feel here. Right? And there's also an energy of somebody wanting to secretly come into union with you and celebrate with you. But take it how it resonates. Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. So Three of Pentacles. Yeah. We got the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah. Somebody wanting to come and celebrate with you as well. But I also feel the third party energy here holding secrets. Right. There's definitely someone in your energy who wants to come and celebrate with you. It could be a King of Swords. Yeah. I have the sun here. And the King of Swords on the split. I'm going to leave them in here and see what else falls out. Okay, but there's some type of truth. Somebody wants to work with you and bring some balance. Um, give you something perhaps. Or have some equal give and take in this connection with you. Will of Fortune to the King of Cups. Wow, there we go. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see what naturally falls out. Right? Let's see. Someone is definitely wanting to... Come into celebration with you. I, I strongly feel that energy, but you do have a negative betting in your energy, okay? That's um doing some hidden deceit behind you. Could be multiple people working towards you, yeah. But in this case, there's someone who definitely wants to come in and have this ace of cups with you, yeah. 
uh, equal give and take. Bring, bring some balance to a situation. There's hidden emotions for you, collective. Somebody has a lot of love for you here. Yep, the star. Yep, they see was wish fulfillment for sure. Yeah, Aquarian energy. Somebody could be an Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. That all resonates. Somebody who wants to balance things out and have an equal give and take with you, but they have hidden emotions uh, for you. Three of Pentacles. They definitely want to work and build with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Seven of Wands, yeah. So they are not only that, they're even willing to come and fight against competition with the Seven of Wands here. Like this is a very determined energy here. Let me just put these like this here. Yeah, very determined energy wanting to come in uh, and fight uh, for you, okay? Definitely does. Yeah, all determined energy here. Seven of Wands, this person sees, it's like that you see how focused... You see how, look, you see how she's focusing here? This is, with this, you see it's just like mega focus, right? It's like her, her eyes are straight and this is in the center. It's focused. Someone is definitely focusing their attention on you. Yeah, that's the energy I feel strong here. Ace of Cups, yeah, drop it. Yeah, the full, uh, yeah, more Aquarian energy. For sure, they want to come towards you, okay? Or Gemini energy. Could be a Libra. Take it out of resonance. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I feel, I feel more Aquarian energy here, here. Double Aquarian. So there's an Aquarius that's not telling you the truth. <laughs> okay, collective. Let's get into it. Or you could be that Aquarius. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. Yeah. Uh, or they feel like this could be a missed opportunity or left out in the cold um, from you. Are they tired of being left out in the cold from you? Why? King of, due to a king of wands. Yeah. Ugh. Due to a king of wands. Let's get into it. Yeah. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So they could have these um, placements highly aspected in their chart. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got a flipper. Will of Fortune. There's about to be some lucky, uh, Turn of events here with the will of fortune and a fool. Yeah. So this, so, so something is about to be faded. There's a, a, a faded twist of, uh, faded twist of fate. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Something is changing and uh, there's, there's the energy. There's a change coming, a, a sudden change for some of you guys, right? With the will of fortune. Uh, yeah. So, oh, come on with the. We got uh, triple arcana on the board here. We got the moon. We got the star and the will of fortune. Queen of wands energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Ten of Swords. Yeah, is heavily burdened by this because this queen, of, this queen of wands could be the one that's being left out in the cold. Yeah, this king of wands could be walking away from a queen of uh, a queen of wands. Are leaving the Queen of Wands out in the cold? Yeah. Or this could be their energy. Uh, the same energy, masculine, uh, divine, masculine, feminine uh, energy here. Yeah. Ten of Swords. Yeah. So why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Why is this person in deep mental anguish? Yeah. Because, yeah, somebody is walking away. Wow, I can't make it up. Okay, well, tell us what it is, Spirit. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, because it's like somebody somebody is walking away for the for the for the purposes of they want to put in hard work with you, uh, collective. Okay, they want to be in celebration with you. I feel like they've been hiding this. Um, yeah. It, <laughs> there you go intentionally hiding secrets okay or somebody in this they're walking away because they know someone has been intentionally hiding secrets when it comes to the relationship yeah and 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 you're and they're over it or, or your person is over it this could be you this could be your person taking out resonates but someone is praying for your sweet loving energy and that's just period okay they're tired of dealing with whoever this is that's in their energy who's um been intentionally hiding secrets. Or this could be this King of Wands. 
um, who's intentionally, who's been intentionally hiding secrets, okay? Could be hiding the fact that they, um, that they love you or is in love with you. Yeah. Some, <laughs> this could also be their energy too, that they hate that how beautiful and sought out after you are. Um, and they're jealous. Yeah. Cause now they feel like they're at a major loss. It was a major loss for them to even walk away. Because some of them walked away from you and they're mad at themselves for doing that. That's also the energy I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, their wish fulfillment. Absolutely. Yep. So now they want to come towards their wish fulfillment, which is you guys collective. Nine of Cups. This wish is going to be granted, but something has to change. With the Will of Fortune here, something has to change. What has to change, Spirit? Okay, we'll drop it then. Judgment. Yep. They have to make the judgment call, right? Our judgment, our judgment has been made. So I feel like your person, they could be in another connection. So because if we have another, let me tell you why. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands here. So your person can be in another, can be in another, in another relationship that they are going to leave out in the cold. And this is going to put someone in mental anguish, right? I feel like this person feels unfulfilled in this connection. It's like they're willing to put in the hard. They've been the ones who's been willing to put in the hard work and labor. But I feel like it's not. I feel like this could be unrequited love or something isn't reciprocated. Or your person is lying to themselves, right? I feel, I feel like it's that deceptive energy here. Yeah, because intentionally hiding, yeah, intentionally hiding secrets, right? Um, give me more spirit. Give me more regarding this connection for the collective. Somebody's not being honest. Yeah, yeah, five of cups. Yes, yeah, so there's a loss right there, haunting loss. Yeah, there's a loss. So someone is making a judgment call and looking at, Whatever this situation is. So if there's a pair here. So there could be a couple or a marriage here. Take it out resonance either or. And there's going to be some twist of fate that change. Okay. When it comes to this love connection. It's for for some of you guys too. This is this is also energy of someone constantly that keeps illusions going. Or when it comes to this love connection. And there's always some type of secret. Like, your person can never get the whole truth out of someone. Yeah. King of Swords. Yeah. Look. So, it could be dealing with a an Aquarius again. Yeah. Or a Gemini. Um, yeah. Eight of Wands. So, a King of Swords is about to come tell you some truth. Eight of Wands. Some, some fast communication. You're about to receive from this King of Swords with some truth and clarity about a situation. And they may... They've definitely made the judgment call here, right? With the judgment card being here, five of cups. Yeah, because there, there is some regret here, right? They're making a judgment to let something go, right? What's the eight of wands? What's this communication surrounding this connection? Yeah, hangman. Somebody's going to, I feel like they're going to sacrifice this, 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 um, this relationship. Somebody is about to make a bold move, King of Wands energy. So, you know, King of Wands in the upright is very bold, very goal-oriented. Someone who knows what they want or whatever and goes after what they want. So this is why you have the Seven of Wands to the full card here. They're about to leave this Queen of Wands energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, out in the cold uh, for sure. And this is causing, this is going to cause some really deep mental anguish to a situation but the reason why this King of Wands is doing this is because they're not feeling start, uh, they're not feeling fulfilled, right, in this connection. It's just like they keep going through the same old mundane, stagnant energy, the same the same routine. There's no change. There's there's no um there's no there's no hard work being put in this, right? With the eight of pentacles here. It's just like they need someone who's going to put in the hard work or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And they see this in you, collective. 
I feel. Mm-hmm. And they feel like, and, they, and honestly, this this person or your person, to that resonates, could be you, feel stuck. Neither wants energy. Yeah, they're about to take some fearless ass action towards you. I can't make it up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. Oof. Hierophant to the devil. Destructive indulgence. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, oof, when these come out, it's like. It's like your person with the Hierophant to the Devil card. It's like your person is fighting against what they know is right. And they're having some type of awakening, okay? It's making them obsess over this situation to an extent. And also, too, they, spill, they really feel spiritually guided towards you guys. Um, but they're also, I don't want to say, but they feel spiritually guided towards you guys, but they, ugh, I keep saying, but <laughs> there's a need to fulfill this obsession that they have over you. I feel like they got in a situation that they thought was going to pan out in some way or they felt that you were um, unattainable, right? You know, how, you know how people get in relationships and to fill a void or to, you know, well, I got to keep moving on or whatever, hoping that they could find all of the attributes in that person um, that you possess in that person, excuse me. Right, yeah, the death, yeah. So something is about to come to an end because somebody, not only that, it's been illuminated, Hierophant card here. It's just like somebody, it's like a, this is this is big, okay? Hierophant, devil to the death card, damn. High priestess, it's like somebody has some deep knowing that they need to end something. So Hierophant card, oh God, uh, Taurus energy here. Somebody has some higher knowing that they're dealing with a destructive energy that they need to put an end to. It's not going to serve them well. High priestess energy here. It's like they have some deep, deep knowing. Queen of swords energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Yeah, to the king of cups. Ace of wands, new beginning, and family. Somebody is ending something. And they're like, I feel like they have some type of awakening. They know that. Yep, temperance angel is here to Sagittarian energy. They know it's necessary to end something it's like it's also to six of swords here on the bottom they they definitely want to move to karma waters and heal something with the two of cups energy i can't make it a come on spirit yep and they want forward movement with this queen of swords wow so they're definitely about to do something they're about to break a queen of wands heart and go towards this queen of swords in this king of cups energy and have a passion and a new beginning and and build possibly a family and bring some some peace, harmony, and balance to a situation. Because in over here in this energy, it's calmer waters. And when they're in this other energy, it's nothing but devil energy. A lot of lies. Um, codependency here as well. Or whatever somebody's codependent, they're getting some type of spiritual awakening with the Hierophant card here. Yeah, to the devil. It's like good, it's like good versus bad type of energy, right? Mm-hmm. There's that there's that higher knowing. They're using their third eye for sure. Yeah, they're making a very decisive um, decision. But I feel like this is also, with the King of Swords being here, this is someone who's being very strategic on how they're doing this. I'm telling you with God's love. Because it's there, it's, they, they, 
Oh, the way, the way, in, listen, you could be dealing with the King of Swords, um, who wants to do this, King of Wands, or the King of Wands could just be in the, um, also embodying the King of Swords energy. Nevertheless, they are, are going to learn in, in some, in some, um, work and move forward with leaving this Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're leaving this Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out in the cold. So it could be a fire sign dealing with another fire sign or they could have fire in their chart. We have a lot of fire and Aquarian energy here on the board. That's crazy. Yeah, now we got the King the King of Cups showing up. I feel like this is your person showing up as the King of Cups, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, Queen of Swords here. Somebody's thinking very strategically, okay? When it comes to this Queen of Swords, but the Queen of Swords is also a strategic thinker. Very beautiful, radiant, but also lives in her truth. Um, she's um, she's very... The Queen of Swords in the upright is very kind. Actually very loving, um, to be honest. Um, very loyal, okay? Um, and this is what this King of Cups energy, uh, King of Wands, King of Cups, Take it out resonates is looking for. You could be dealing with any uh any of these signs to be honest, but whoever it is, there will be a passion of beginning, okay. And um with the ace of wands, yeah, forward movement in the family situation for sure. Yeah, yeah, temperance here to the six of swords, yeah. So there will be some type of reconciliation you and unity, some type of um balance here is going to be brought, brought out in this connection sagittarian energy could be dealing with the sagittarius who's coming in um are they just embodying in this energy or they could have you or them could they get um uh, could have sagittarian in their chart don't have to right this is a temperance temperance angel yeah bringing peace and the needed change yeah, to this, um, to this, um, uh, to this love connection, two of cups. But some, in order for this to happen, they gotta leave this queen of wands energy out in the cold. Someone who is not, who they feel is not serving their highest good. I can't make it up. Hmm. Let me pull up this spread, <laughs> y'all. This is y'all sign. Sound off in the comment field below. Okay rewind the video okay so definitely um some big changes is about to happen for you collective and it's going to shock you yeah because you definitely got the ace of cups coming towards you this is marriage um somebody who's emotionally ready to um to come out of hiding right with the moon card here yeah and bring in this love offer you definitely you got the ace of cups the two of cups this is not, this i feel like this person is really in love with you guys as well all right so let me get some more messages from the intuitive deck um what's going on surrounding you guys in this connection what's the energy what's the energy we'll pull i'm pulling from the new intuitive deck as well you guys okay I hope it's resonating with you guys. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video. So I can get out to other signs who need to receive this message. <laughs> I'm getting more messages for it. For my collective's highest good surrounding this connection. Oh, somebody throwing major shade. What is it? I see you poking your head out. Yeah, spirit whooping their ass royally, okay? So somebody is going, yeah, judgment did come out. So that's someone who's going through some type of karma, whooping their ass. To come, and this could be their karma for waiting to come towards this queen of swords energy, take it out resonates, but somebody's been throwing major shade, right? Um, and I feel like that's too, you guys got haters in your energy. Oh, that's a thought spirit. Yeah, major, okay, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so then I just say somebody's thinking they're going through karma, but this is passed down karma, generational curse. So this is also, so this is the energy of this tells me that this person does this every lifetime, okay? And this is a curse that they need to break because once they come, I feel like once this um, person, your person comes into union with you, King of Wands, King of Wands, whoever this king is that's coming towards you guys 
once they do this and you guys come into union, it will break a generational curse because this is passed down karma. It's like they keep missing the opportunity to be with you. And I, I think like they've gotten some type of spiritual awakening that they need to fix it. Right? Yeah. Caught up in bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, somebody who's been throwing shade got, is caught up in some type of bullshit. Try, probably trying to get y'all caught up. Take it out, resonates. Yeah, mass destruction. Yeah, this was faded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pay attention. Yeah, because this love will persevere, right? Pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to this person's movements around you, how they treat you, how they talk to you, how they vibe with you. Just everything, like the signs are all around you guys, okay? They are. It's just that you just have to pay attention to what's going on, all right? Yeah, a quest for self-knowledge and improvement. Yeah, so yeah, because your person knows, I told y'all, this is the quest. And, and you guys are part of that quest to, you know, they, it's like the king of, the king of uh, swords is someone who does this is a knowledge seeker they seek the truth king of, king of swords queen of swords we had a pair we had two pairs on the board right but listen these are individuals uh king queen of swords they are people who are uh who are individuals who quest for knowledge and you know understanding of where they come from you know learning you know their ancestral history and you know opening up those akashic records um, in order to seek, you know, what it is that they're uh, supposed to do in this lifetime, okay? Again, yeah, you are a teacher, motivator, and scholar. You were put here to spread knowledge, yeah. A quest for self-knowledge and improvement. Thank you, spirit. I know that's the fact, right? Period. I can't make it up. Yeah, what else do we have here? Wishes will be granted. Absolutely, attempting to dim your light. So somebody is headed towards mass destruction who's been trying to dim your light and throwing you shade and have you caught up in bullshit. But at the end of the day, you're going to overcome all of this because your wishes are definitely about to be granted. This is pissing somebody off in the background, but let's get into it. Give us more. Tell us more, spirit. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Okay, that flew way across the room. But I'm going to slide it on over here. I got it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, you are an anointed being. Yes. You were put here to spread knowledge because you... Come on, spirit. Thank you. Ten. This is... Come on. Ten. Six and four. You guys can have a life path of six or four. Okay? Or ten. Listen. But here it is. You're an anointed being. This is why you were put here to spread knowledge. Right? Thank you, spirit. Oh. I know that's for me because I'm here spreading all the love and joy and knowledge and giving you guys the healing and spiritual guidance. Listen, and you guys could be the same way, right? Somebody in your energy is uh, ex exercising major snake behavior. Yeah, I told you there was some deceit. Uh, of course, with the moon being here, yeah, because I don't need the seven of swords to fall out. Uh, even with the moon being in an upright, that's hidden hidden um yeah intentionally somebody intentionally hiding secrets yeah that's snake behavior so your person that wants to come towards you who is about to leave this queen of swords i mean excuse me queen of wands in the um in the cold has that person they're leaving them out because they're they're learning some truth about some snake behavior um or them intentionally hiding secrets that's no longer serving them right and they're like, why Why am I staying with you and you doing goofy shit? Yeah, welcome to the circus. <laughs> you like that? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they're dealing with a fucking clown. Yeah, you see right through them or they see right through this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you guys taking our resonance? Yeah, you guys are relationship goals, period. Yeah, they know this. They know this. They know you're their higher level soulmate. And they and they gotta get rid of this clown over here. Like fuck. I'm sitting up here dealing with you and your goofy ass with your with you you know purposely and um hiding secrets and shit, doing snake shit behind my back. And um and I'm over here, you know, leaving out my divine uh, counterpart for what? Yeah, they're not they not about to do that no more. Yeah, miserable. Come on, burden and stress. Yeah, come on, it's pissing them off. 
Absolutely. That's also um, the karmic synergy as well. But this could be a person feeling very burdened and stressed by this karmic, this third party energy. Child, they wish they never, they wish they never had even bothered with this person. Come on, that's a lot, spirit. Oof, that's a lot. I'm not taking us. Yeah. So I think, yeah, this is something is newsworthy. Yeah. So you guys are about to get some news. Okay, but whatever it is, it's headline news, honey, child. Somebody about to be notified of some type of news, okay? But a blockages and lack of foresight in this connection, okay? That definitely need to be removed, all right? Yeah, you are highly favored by divine by the divine masters. Absolutely. This is why anointed being. So you so it's like spirit knew that you were like a chosen one. Okay, I promise you, nobody wakes up at five years old and say, I want to be a, a, a tarot reader, <laughs> a spiritual guy when I grow up. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not part of the conversation unless you were born, born in a house full of uh, pastors and preachers and things like that. And then it's just anointed to you and built in your DNA and passed down to you in that way. But the typical five-year-old, you know, six-year-old, seven-year-old is not saying they want to be a spiritual reader or a tarot reader or anything like that. I'm speaking for myself, right? Just to give you guys a clear understanding of what it is that we're dealing with here, right? Because you guys could be in this energy too. You could also be a tarot reader or a spiritualist of some sort. It doesn't have to be, but just, you know, someone of a higher calling, you know, typically kids when they're young, you know, they think about what's around them. You know, I want to be a singer. I want to be a fireman. I want to be a police officer. I want to be, you know, a doctor or, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know, little kid, you know, I want to be an artist. I want to paint, you know, those type of things, you know, so spirit knew Whatever you went through in your life, spirit knew that you were anointed being, that you were the one who was going to carry on um, a legacy for your family. And I feel like your person that wants to come towards you is seeing this in you and is having this aha awakening. It's like almost like they're recognizing you for the first time in this lifetime as who you were to them probably in a previous lifetime. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep, let's see. Take it out, resonates, guys. Okay, all right. Oh my goodness, here. What's the messages? Yeah, views. Yeah, so this person could view you as their person, right? Or they are. This is someone who has views or visions or something of that sort. Home sweet home. Yeah, you could be home sweet home to them. Or their their home has views. However, that resonates with you. Oh, wow. Yeah, their home could have views. But you could, they could view you as home sweet home. Take it how it resonates or both. Yeah. Money is on the way. You're a, ma you're a magical star quality, okay? This is why your person wants to be with you. And they're about to get rid of the zero for a hero. Um, Y'all like that one? Listen, that was so corny. <laughs> your person is not playing. Yeah, because they see this person as fake, counterfeit. Yeah, they're, yeah. So, they could have thought getting with this person that they was like, you know, matching their energy equally yoke or whatever. This person appeared to live a certain lifestyle or has certain things going for themselves and they're learning that this was fake. They're count they're counterfeit. They're not who they say they are. Yeah. Yeah. Lot somebody who lost their way. Yeah. And now they're about to block their energy. Yeah. Yeah. You are them. Check it out resonates. You will receive a huge payout coming up. I know that's the fact right collective. I know that's right. Yeah, they felt like this person was a con artist and they were, they're now about to recover. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Or this con artist was thinking they were going to receive a huge payout from your person and it's like, nah, 
that's not about to happen either. So somebody in this connection could have got with your person for money because of who they are, their status and everything like that. And I feel like it could be an awakening to your person that's kind of devastating. Yeah, I think that's why mass destruction came out. Yep. Yeah, it's devastating to your person because this person didn't have real intentions or true intentions. Yeah. Yep. And now they, this person, there's someone in your energy trying to block your blessings because they intuitively feel and know that your person wants to come towards you. Yep. And that they're being an unstoppable force. Yep. Oof. Faith. Your person is moving on faith right now. And they're about to leave somebody very much heartbroken. Yep. Yeah, because somebody definitely tried to block your blessings. Okay, could be dealing with the cancer. Yeah, you or them or have cancer in your chart. Yeah, so that's, oh, what is this? Yeah, okay, miserable. That came out earlier. So, yeah, so it's a lot going on behind the scenes. Probably I'm going to see you. Moon card did come out. Okay, but you guys are divine beings and you are going definitely getting your wishes fulfilled that came out here in the cards so rewind the video and see how the cards fall out but wishes will be fulfilled here um you guys are going to have forward movement okay um and secrets are definitely going to be revealed right somebody's going to be in for a shock of their life when your person like in something with them like, they're going to be so confused. They're going to be stuck and confused, okay? But your person, one thing they, they are known for doing is being a strategic planner, right? When they when they set their mind to something, that's it. They like, it's like, they're, they're, they, it's brain cells locked and loaded. <laughs> it's like locked and loaded. It's no coming back from it, okay? So, oof. Somebody not about to like this. Oh my gosh. What's the potential outcome for this? Um, for my collective? What's the potential outcome? Oof. Mm. Forward movement, two of one. Yeah, that your person is not in the energy of being. And stuck stagnant energy. Yeah. Heartbreak. King of Pentacles to the Three of Swords. Yeah. So this King of Pentacles, your person could be the King of Pentacles. Take it out resonates. And they're about to be heartbroken. Yeah. The Emperor. Yeah. With this love situation. Yeah. Yeah. They're about to go into hermit mode. Yeah. Virgo energy. I'm just leaving it in there. Hang in there. Yeah. This King of Pentacles is definitely about to experience some heartbreak or break someone's heart. The Emperor Aries energy. The lovers, yeah. Oof. Okay. What else? What else for the collective? The fool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's that clearing energy here. <sighs> yeah, they're definitely going to have forward movement yeah seven of pentacles so something is is not moving forward right because it's like someone whoever they're about to break heart libra energy here it's like it's like um they're not seeing the results of this connection right seven of pentacles in the reverse it's like someone is not seeing the results of you know um the energy that they put in when it comes to this connection so it's like they have to move forward with this decision to like end something to see, to end it yeah with the king of wands thank you yeah leo aries sagittarius yeah it's because there's no there's no movement right there's there's lack of vision there's um it's like they don't see any progress. Thank you. Seven Pentacles in the reverse. This is them not seeing progress when it comes to this King of Wands. Yeah. Yep. Queen of Swords. Yep. There it is. <sighs> yep. The Lovers. So the Queen of Swords 
fell out under the lever. So this is because they're in love with the Queen of Swords. They actually are in love with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords. But I feel like, let me tell you something. It was a missed opportunity as well because they didn't plant the seeds that they were supposed to with the actual, with, actual, with the Queen of Wands. They put it into the King of with the queen of swords excuse me they put that energy into the queen of wands the emperor but is being left in heartbreak when in reality the queen of swords falling under the lover's card here okay yeah gemini energy queen of swords yeah they could be dealing with the gemini queen of swords is libra gemini aquarius they um they feel like they should have take their they're, they're going to take a leap of forth because for with the queen of swords but they're gonna there's gonna be heartbreak here with this king king of wands energy emperor energy someone that they thought was going to um be their end all be all okay yeah give me a bottom row spirit okay yeah two of swords yeah mm-hmm so two of swords so this is someone who's like they've been in indecision right they've been in a major indecision and denial they've been a major denial too two of swords is also denial you know what i'm saying um they could have been waiting something out right death yeah to end something like i said yeah they know they need to end something yep and this is going to be hard yeah through yeah so that they can have more forward movement yeah and go towards their true wish fulfillment yeah with the queen of swords because they got they found some truth and and this queen of swords represents nothing but truth yeah mm-hmm Seven of Wands to the Page of Pentacles. They're going to make a new offer. So, yeah, falling right under the Queen of Swords. The Lovers, Queen of Swords to the Seven of Wands. So, they're going to go in and fight for this Queen of Swords and make a new offer. Yep. And there it is. What's the offer, Spirit? And the offer. Oh, we got a flipper. What is it? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Woo, I can't make it up. Baby, in love. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yep. Or this king, yeah. So, or your person, take it how it resonates, because it could be the king of wands energy doing this too. It, 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 whoever this king is, king of pentacles. <laughs> Listen, because I'm getting so many downloads or whatever. Y'all can have multiple people coming towards your queen of swords. Take it out. Resonates. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Yeah. Ten of pentacles. Yes. Yeah, because you're, listen, you're long-term security. They see long-term abundance with you, okay? You know, it's like this is not only that. You guys, they're about to offer you long-term security, Yes, you're going to build a family, an empire with this person. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful energy. Yeah. Hey, man, five of cups and hey, man. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, they're letting, they're, they're releasing. They're sacrificing. They're releasing surrender. Yeah, they're surrendering this person due to stagnation. Yep, they're sacrificing them. Yep. Ooh. Yep, and somebody's definitely about to be mad about that. Five of cups energy. Shall. Yes, yeah, high priestess. I feel like intuitively somebody knows Cancerian energy. Yeah, but this is also your person finally using their intuition. Yeah, coming out of hermit mode. I feel like your person sat on this real long and hard. Okay, mm hmm. They've been, they've been, they've been sitting on this real long and very much hard. You know what I'm saying? On how they were gonna do this, planning, um. Being very strategic behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Yeah. We got the Queen of Pentacles here that flipped over and strength. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are about to be a power couple. Let's, that's just period. You get together. It's like mind over matter. Your person is about to be very strong. Use mind over matter and very much be fearless. 
to, and very brave and courageous or whatever to come get their queen of pentacles to match their king of pentacles status period because they see you as wish fulfillment very abundant queen of swords is very truthful she's very protective very honest um very independent um as where they weren't getting that with this person that you know what i'm saying how the queen of wands fell out in the first in the first batch right they weren't getting that from this person they they looked at this person as very weak and especially let me tell you something a king of pentacles and a, and a, a king of swords do not like weak-minded people okay because they're um they're very grounded you know what i'm saying very mature they very business minded, very strategic and um they they plan strategically for their future and they weren't really getting this out of um their this other person, right? They weren't. They I f I feel like they were getting nothing but excuses if to be honest. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's someone who who lack the confidence to 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 make things happen or do things or you know um but it's also too was just like I think the biggest thing here was the hidden secrets so it's so many hidden secrets so many things unknown so many um obstacles here when it came to this past love situation but none, nonetheless it doesn't even matter I feel like even if this person, this other person tried to get their act right, your person would still make this decision overall because, you know, they, there's, there's a lack of loyalty. Not necessarily loyalty, but trust, right? Um, you know, you're dealing with the king of swords, king of pentacles, king of wands, what, whoever this energy, this masculine, divine masculine energy is, they really want to be with someone that they can trust, they can count on, who will be loyal to them and who can give to them. Yeah, Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Page of Pentacles to the Knight, the Knight of Cups. Yeah. They need somebody. Yeah, to the Empress. Come on. Don't play with her. Yeah, they need someone that they can build a solid foundation with. Yeah, and then we have Page of Wands here. Yeah. It's like your person is, there's going to be a passion new beginning. This is like there's flowing traction between the both of you guys, okay, to this Empress. Oof, yeah, Libra Taurus energy here, strong. There's going to have a passion new beginning for sure. You guys have got to get somebody somebody is about to bring some news to you some good news of an, an offer that's coming towards this empress it's definitely a knight of cups something um this empress could be attracting abundance to her thank you on the split ace of swords that's the truth there it is yeah yep to the ace of cups don't play yep to the lovers gemini energy empress to the empress yep and um, it's about to leave somebody in heartbreak, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's about to be heartbroken that you guys are going to come into celebration. Yeah, and get justice. Yeah, there's that Libra energy. Karmic justice is coming to the table. It is what it is, love bugs. I can't make it up. Okay. Yep, because something is definitely about to be in be ending. They, your person, you or them, they're making a practical decision to come out of deceit and um remove this false mask. Yep, and manifest you in for this love. And I didn't shuffle these cards all over again. There it is. Ultimate, the ultimate win here is the two of cups. Yeah, because this will make for a per perfect partnership. I cannot make it up. Yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, Empress, lovers to the Empress. Come on. I mean, what more do you guys want? Okay, this is a strong love connection. Somebody who's been hiding their feelings, wearing a false mask, not showing their face, not showing their hand in the situation is definitely manifesting this love in. I can't make it up. So this is overall um, beautiful energy for the outcome of this situation. 
Um, a lot of Libra energy fell out in this reading. Um, <laughs> just saying. With the heartbreak, with the Empress, Justice card. Uh, you know, I mean, y'all. <laughs> um, but you guys could have Libra uh, in your chart or um, air sign energy. Period has been um, very prevalent um, uh, in this reading. Should have made this an air sign reading, to be honest, the way it was falling out. But yeah. Got the Ace of Swords here. You guys um, are definitely about to get some truth and clarity about a situation and, a, and an offer. Somebody's about to bring you... The offer is the truth. Uh, and the truth is that they want a... Uh, they want to invest in this love connection, right? To a higher level of commitment with the Ace of Cups, right? Knight of Cups energy is coming towards you guys pretty pretty strong yeah pretty strong you know very debonair very like very like i want to <laughs> i want to make i want to make love to you all night type energy and i'm just like <laughs> oh my goodness that's you guys reading i hope it resonates for you guys and i hope it gave you some clarity on your situation what you've been intuitively feeling or just you know feel like you like been missing pieces to the to the puzzle okay um so this is what's you know what you guys got look to look forward to, and I feel like this is coming like this week, very very strong. If you guys have been in the energy of feeling tired, like feeling like really like um drained, mentally, emotionally, and all of that, it's because you got all of this abundance and love and ugh coming towards you. Okay, um, just prepare yourselves. Okay, don't don't think too hard on it or anything like that. Um, but yeah everything is everything happens for a reason all right so i love you guys so much uh, and i will see you guys on the next read um uh, don't forget to hit the like share subscribe button as you guys leave this reading and um if you'd like to donate to the channel um or book a personal reading our personal readings are open at this time i am limiting them so get in where you fit in um until i say yay no more um and if you would like to um uh, book the uh, upcoming class in March next month, uh, March 25th to the 26th. It is a online Zoom class, two days of fun, fun, fun on how to leave, uh, on how to learn how to read tarot with Renee. All of that information is in the description box below. And if you need to be set up on a payment plan, um, you know, to make payments up until um, the cutoff date, which is coming up really soon, is the day after. Uh, uh, February, I mean, February to death, February after Valentine's Day. I am tired. I've been doing readings and stuff. Oh my god, it's the day after Valentine's Day. I may extend it a little bit depending on where you guys are. Um, that's wanting to participate, okay? Um, but yeah, that's the cutoff date, February 15th. So if you want to get into this class, let me know and um, I'll hook y'all up with the payment plan so it's easier for you guys and. They can join in on all the fun okay it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm excited and i can't wait to do this class with y'all i love you guys and i'll see you on your next read bye